This video shows how to set up the initial auth for calling your first API for TD Ameritrade. Documentations are present, but this video executes all the steps through a live account. Click the register button on the top right to register a new API user. Provide the first name, last name, username as you prefer, a valid email address to which the activation email will be sent. Read and accept the API developer license agreement and the CAPTCHA. Once you have validated if all the information provided is correct, submit the form. A welcome message will be sent to your email, you have to activate the account using the link sent. Refresh your email, it might take some time to receive the activation email. The activation email will have the link to the account activation. Clicking the link will take you to the edit profile page. The email ids and other details will be pre-populated, just set your new password and optional details and save. Now we have to create our first app. This app credentials are the one you will have to use it in API code. Give it a name, loopback address, this can just be http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1, reason for using this app, order limit, the limit is to limit the app to execute number of orders per minute. Now create the app, this will be immediately in approved state. One thing you need from this app is the consumer key. Copy the consume key and have it in a notepad. Now, click the guide link of top and follow the simple auth guide, you will just need the URL mentioned in that page. Copy the link to the notepad, edit the link and replace the work example with the consumer key. Once you have the full link, open the link in a new page. This will take you to the login page of your TD Ameritrade account. This is your brokerage account login. Once the logged in, it will ask the permission to allow access to your app. Click allow. This will show something like this. Nothing to worry, it's working as expected. All we need here is the key preceding the code. Copy the code to the notepad. The generated code is in URL encoded format. We need to decode it to use it in API header. You can use any online decoder for this. Here I have used URL decoder.org. Copy the decoded code to the notepad. Now we have all the elements to call the authentication API. Click the API page, navigate to the authentication section and select post access token API. The API requires few mandatory parameters, which we already have them in notepad. Provide the grant underscore type as authorization underscore code. Access type is offline. Copy the URL decoded code from notepad to the code section. Client underscore ID is the customer key used in the URL, but the URL had it as percent %40, just replace them and use the key. Enter the redirect URL same as the one which you set up during app creation http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 and hit the send. You should get the access token and refresh token along with their expiry details. Copy the response to the notepad. For now, we just need the access token. Let's take an API to test it. I am trying to get my account details through an API. Click the API page, navigate to the accounts section and click get accounts. This API requires two parameters, the fields and the authorization token. For fields, now I'm just going to query the positions. For the authorization, you need to enter bearer space the access token copied from notepad. Hit the send button and you should get the response with all the details. Now you have a successful API, you can follow the same for other APIs too. One final note, if you had noticed the access underscore token expiry time, it expires in 1800 seconds default, which means you will have to refresh the access token using refresh token before its expiry time for the API to work seamlessly. For this, let's get back to the post access token, but this time we will use refresh underscore token instead of authorization code and will refresh the access token. Enter the grant type as refresh token, copy the refresh token from the notepad, the client ID. Now hit the send button and you will now have the new access token which is valid for Anther 1800 seconds. The refresh token itself is valid for 90 days. To get a new refresh token, follow the same steps for authorization code, Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you.
See you in another video.